So, trimming the collection, condensing the collection. Have you done it? Would you do it? Are you thinking about it? Now, I recently, more than ever since moving house, I've been thinking about it. Now, as you've seen by the, the pictures that I posted at the start of the video, that is essentially my entire collection, including the stuff in the box I just don't have room for. As I said, I find more and more that I'm thinking about streamlining it. A lot of the figures I bought, I don't look at. Some of them I do go back to, namely figures like Classics Prime here. It's just a brilliant figure, whether it's just because he's Optimus Prime and, you know, I was raised on the sort of G1 cartoon, so you always kind of go back to the figures you remember, which is probably why I collect a lot of the classic stuff. Uh, things that would be guaranteed to be kept in my collection are the, the Ultra Magnus display, the Masterpiece figures, although sometimes I look at Skywalk and think, eh, you could maybe get shot of him. But generally, those are the ones that would definitely be kept. I do enjoy the classics figures, but some of them, I just don't. It's like, once you get them, the thrill of the hunt's over. And you transform it back and forth for a little while, maybe do a review. And then you just put it in the shelf and you forget about it. Particularly when I was uh, buying the Beast Hunters, Beast Hunters, Beast Wars figures. I'll get to the Beast Hunter stuff in a minute. But, you know, I was getting them... If I remember, I was doing it as a project to try and get all the the cast from the Beast Hunt, uh, Beast Wars storyline, so the Beast Wars series. But I sort of gave up in the end because I was just getting fed up with the figures. Some of them are brilliant, like the the Megatron, the Optimus Primal. I like them, but things like I'm selling at the moment, anyone anyway, eBay or it's finishing today is like the original Tarantula, Central Waspinator. Quick Strike, other figures, even the Scorponok, he's boxed in that storage tub that was uh, at the intro in the picture. Simply just don't have room for them and I don't really go back to them. When I was in the old place, I had sort of figures that I didn't look at in the spare room, which now we don't have a spare room because we've got a child on the way, so the spare room is going to be the future child room. Uh, particularly, it was sort of the G1 Metroplex, the the Seacon reissue, and mostly the Prime stuff. They were through there, out the road, because I barely looked at them. So I do wonder now I've bought them, even though I've just, you know, bought a Beast Hunters ratchet. I wonder, do I keep the stuff? Do I sell it on? It's difficult. When it comes down to it, it's like I don't really want to sell them, but. If I want to buy more stuff for my collection, I need room. In particular, the stuff I'm buying up is an expense, and selling the figures could go to help financially purchase those ones. Particularly the new masterpiece figures, the Bumblebee, the Wheeljack, and Dr. Magnus now. Uh, the phone rang there, so we'll have a jump cut in between, as you guessed. But, yeah, it's one of those things you want to sell them, I know. Beast Wars toys in particular don't go for much on eBay unless it's your sort of rarer repaints and variants and things. But I mean this year, sort of figure wise what I'm looking at getting is the MP Bumblebee Wheeljack Ultra Magnus and the Nick Toys Computron. I did look at the Predaking but the, because I've left it too late now. The secondary market for the third-party Predaking, be it the MMC or TFC versions, are just creeping up and up. And again, with a, a baby on the way, finances are, are going to be, sorry, the cat's going nuts, are going to be pretty expensive. So, uh, my question is, have you thought about streamlining your collection? Will you streamline it? Have you done it? If so, why? I'd like to know. And more importantly, once you've done it, did you have regret or do you feel much better for doing so? Yeah, that's the end of this video and thanks for watching if you've stuck with me through this rant.